Look, here on November 13th, 1944, the war criminals General de Gaulle and Sir Winston Churchill met in a snowy area in the east of France in a castle by the name of Montalembert, near the town of Mesh, right next to the Swiss border. And it says in the text, what could possibly be the reason for this visit? in the middle of World War II in this little snowy town. Hey Swizzy, maybe you can tell us what the hotshots were doing at your border, eh? And why it couldn't wait until at least the snow would be gone a little bit. Why that's urgent? The hotshots always mate in castles because that's where they all originate from. Churchill was born in England in the castle of Blenheim with a German name, Heim. It's German and it means home. Now, does that sound Gotha Coburg or something? And in the same town of Mesh and same snowy mountainous area, there was a very large French family of 10 brothers and sisters who were all in the French resistance. Here's their name, Jacques May. Some of them got shot, seven got deported to the concentration camps in Germany and only three came back alive. Here you can see it, the whole soccer team is the same family. Jacques May, 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 Jacques May. Four of the Jacques May brothers got murdered in the concentration camps by the Nazis. And the Jacques May family was the biggest resistance family in France who suffered the biggest losses as for a single French family engaged in the resistance. Too bad not more Frenchies did a little bit more to liberate themselves, so we wouldn't have risked our necks for them at the beaches and whatnot. Now, watch that film here I shot 10 years ago at Omaha Beach, Normandy. You'll be shocked what you're gonna witness and from what satanic ritual they all died. Okay. Donc, uh... Vous, vous avez 86 ans et oui. la famille, le nom de la famille Jacques May Martin. Jacques May. So this guy is, he is 86 years old and family name Jacques May. And all these people here, many of them, they were in the French resistance. Well, there, there wasn't very much French resistance actually, but and many of them uh, died. Euh, ce sont lesquels donc qui, ont, qui sont morts donc, euh, dans la, la guerre Maurice. So, yeah, this young guy here, il avait quoi 16 ans, non Joseph. Il avait 16 ans, oui. Lui Oui. He was only 16 years old and he was. Que, euh, Paul Quoi Paul là, tu là Lequel Là. Paul Ok. Et René. René, c'est celui ce, là non Là, le, le, le plus jeune, oui. Ouais. Et il avait quel âge, le jeune Oh, il devait avoir 20 et quelques années. Lequel, le Paul ou le René J'ai les dates de naissance du René, 1923. So, this one, he died. They were all members of the resistance. There was not very much in, Fran in France, but here in the East. And... Celui-là aussi, hein, il est mort. Ah non, il est mort. Celui-là, il a été blessé. Devant toi et moi. Il a reçu une rafale de mitraillette dans le ventre. And this, this guy, he got wounded. C'est celui-là qui est mort. Celui-là, il est mort. Il, il est, est mort dans les camps. Lui, il a été blessé. This guy, et il s'est sauvé en Suisse. This guy here, he had a... Um, he got machine gunned. Um, he got a lot of bullets in his stomach, but he survived. And this one, uh, he died in the in the Nazi camps. This one. So this is quite rare. The whole family was in the Et resistance, like. Puis c'est là qu'a été blessé. Ouais. Bal au menton qui est sorti dans le cou. Celui-là. Elle. Oh, oh, elle. elle. Yeah, and this woman, she was also in the resistance, and she had a um, a bullet in her chin. Elle, elle a survécu donc. 
Oui, il n'y a pas longtemps qu'elle est morte. Ah, she, she died, she died not very long time ago. <coughs> Yeah. Alors, il y a, y, a, y a donc euh, dix membres de votre famille qui ont été déportés. Il y a quatre qui sont morts euh, dans ouais. le camp de concentration. Mm -hmm. So there, well, of course, the family was a lot bigger, and there are ten who got deported because they were members of the resistance, um, and uh, four died in the concentration camps. And these guys here, they died in combat. <coughs> Et vous étiez aussi dans la guerre d'Algérie, donc Moi, oui, j'ai fait trois ans, moi. Trois ans. Et c'était une guerre entre des Français et des Français, au début Ben, exactement. Contre des pieds noirs. Donc, euh, de Gaulle, c'est un menteur, quoi. C'est plutôt triste. Ouais. He says uh, the goal was, is a liar, and the, the, the war in Algeria it was in the beginning a war uh, between French and French. They had two million French who worked there, and um, of course the aristocracy wanted all for themselves, and they said, well, the people of Algeria, well, you know, they are like, they want their own country like, and so they lied, you know. And, well, it all went to the Arab aristocracy, two million French, they got, you know, Kicked out by the goal, no? Et après? <coughs> so the pictures I showed you were out of this book that was lent to me uh, to uh, to make this video about it. And there was the town where Churchill was in the same time and where this resistance was. So there must have been going on something, folks. You understand what I mean? It's all next to Switzerland, eh? We all see the Templars V here, right? Oh, look at that, friends. He got a lot of medals here, same town here, but they couldn't quite liberate themselves, okay? And for those who read and understand French, it was uh, Le Maquis de Combe de Loge. And here it says again, Famille Jacques May. Now, this is all the points where they attacked the Germans, probably. Right, Menon. Moi, ce qu'il y a eu, quand euh, tous mes parents sont partis dans les camps de concentration, comme j'avais la double nationalité française et suisse, j'ai été ramassé par des familles suisses. Alors, euh, j'ai dû vivre trois ans en Suisse. Pendant la guerre Alors, euh, je suis allé à l'orphelinage, je suis allé dans des fermes, euh, j'ai voyagé. Pendant la guerre Oui, oui. Oh. oui, oui. Said, like, here in the east Donc, of France, ça devait être... Ça devait... Here in the east of France, they all got the double... As I told you, it's a, um, it's a buffer zone, and he just said, like, he had the double nationality, Swiss and... Uh, and French, so during the war, uh, the Swiss, they took him in Switzerland, which is quite remarkable, isn't it? Hein? Oui. Alors, euh, j'ai dû rester deux à trois ans en Suisse, puis je suis revenu après que mon père n'était pas rentré de, des camps de concentration. So the Swiss, they took him like three years during the war in Switzerland. At the same time, they kicked all the Jews out, hein? and their children. And because this here is the buffer zone. So you, you see people. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this, this, it's very rare that this was a real people of resistance fighters and there was not very much resistance in France. So this is quite special, eh? And some more, wish you happy reading, the sponge pause, and some more. Uh, oh, come on. Ils ont tué deux, trois Français, là, au, au Comte de l'Auge. C'est dommage, j'ai le bouquin, là. Ah, vous pouvez le chercher, le bouquin Comme ça, je le fais. Oh, peut-être pas maintenant, parce que c'est un petit bordel. Mais, mais je pourrais aller le chercher, oui, je pourrais le trouver. 
So here's a commemoration tombstone. You can see this here. I think this is written on it. Au vous dans le nom d'or inscrira. Well, I don't know. Le Marquis de, Com de la Combe de Loge. Now this, I can tell you, this is a cold region, people. It's all the time snowy here. And I can tell you so because I've been sleeping outside here. Like the last picture you saw of me in my tent. I had to dig myself in the snow. So here's that tombstone where the fighting took place, uh, La Combe de Loge. And this area is like Siberia, I tell you. So this is the poem which is written on the tombstone. Shall I read it out for you? No, no, please no. Okay, well, I'll try. Le Maquis de la Combe de Loge, au vous, dont le nom d'or s'inscrira sur les marbres. Et vous, frères obscurs qui, sur vos tertres nus, n'avez qu'une croix faite avec deux branches d'arbres. Au vous, morts glorieux et vous, morts inconnus. Pauvre corps entassé dans la fosse commune, et vous, membres, et par qu'on n'a point enterré, vous qui n'avez pas même un peu de terre brune, pour vous couvrir mort pour la terre, ô oh mort sacrée. Oh, dans la neige, il y avait un paquet de neige à cette époque-là. Et c'est là qu'ils ont été dénoncés, et puis qu'ils ont été assassinés. Mais c'est dommage de... Tu as ici, je l'aurais trouvé avant, oh, mais je ne peux pas me baisser. Ils ont été. So he said that the, uh, the resistance, they got all betrayed by the French here, in spite of the fact the resistance was Parce French. Que moi, je, il faudrait que tu reviennes, que je le montre. Un plateau de la Combe de Loge, where the uh, fighting took place. It looks a bit like the Battle of the Bulge here, you know, the, uh, the Ardennes in uh, Bastogne. <laughs> Only 10 times cold, I'll tell you. So as the guy, he's already 86 years old, it's a bit difficult, you know, but, and he was a child during the war. But here you can see on the other side of the, um, of the picture, um, when they died, you know, the names here. So this one, Maurice, he died in 1945, probably... Uh, Joseph, he died in 1945. Paul, 1945. René, 1945. And, alors René, uh, il a été uh, tué par le Gestapo? C'est-à-dire, lui, il n'a pas été tué directement parce qu'il est, est revenu en bateau. Ah oui, mais... Ouais. Et puis, les Américains ont bombardé le bateau et il est mort dans la Baltique. Ah, c'était le bateau, le Wilhelm Kuslov Ah, oh, moi, je ne sais pas, il a été bombardé et puis c'est là, là qu'il est mort. Ah oui, parce que le bateau Wilhelm Kuslov, c'est une grande histoire qui a été bombardé, en effet, par des Russes. Donc là, il c'était euh... René. Ok, so this guy, René, in 1945, he died in the Baltic because the ship uh, with all the prisoners and all that, they, it got bombed. Well, he said by the Americans, but I think it was more like the, by the Russians. And there was this ship, the Wilhelm Kuslov. Uh, et Paul Il est mort comment Paul, il est mort dans les camps. Ok, Paul... Et il... après, ils sont tous morts de faim, morts de... Ouais. Le Maurice aussi. Il était mort dans quel camp, Paul Ah ben, moi, okay. les camps, je dis quand même, ouais. je les ai. J'ai les noms. Donc, so, Paul, il est mort dans un camp de concentration en 1945. Et Joseph aussi, la mort dans un camp de concentration. Joseph, tout. Joseph, oui. Maurice, ils sont tous morts dans les camps. Maurice aussi. Mm. So Maurice and Joseph, they they died in a concentration camp by hunger, by uh, starvation. Donc uh, c'est les noms des camps. Well, he doesn't know the names of the of the I camps. So on the other side of the picture, so we got this. Um, the names, yeah. Donc, uh, celui, c'était quoi son nom encore? Ça, c'est Maurice. Oh, this was Maurice. This one here, young guy. Ça, c'est Joseph. Joseph. 
ça c'est Paul, Paul, et ça c'est René. Celui-là, non Oui. Euh, René. Yeah. So, 10 got deported, but they're not on it here, and 4 died, um, shot and killed in the concentration camps. Yeah. But again, it's very rare, there was not much French resistance and... Well, the French people, they got betrayed by the politicians and the army anyway, you know, they didn't have any guns like in America, so I mean, you already need three years or four years to get your guns together and all that, eh? So these were the concentration camps where the entire family uh, were sent to, and um, four did, never came back. And they got, like it says here, um, it, the, the towns are encircled where they went to. So this is encircled Brandenburg, Dresden, Berlin, and I saw another one here. But anyway, if, you, if I compare this Flossenburg, Theresienstadt, then Mauthausen, Dachau, and Auschwitz, they're also, well, not really encircled. I got a square on, around it. Oh, right, square and compass. No, but I don't think they thought about this here. Eh? <laughs> or maybe, because it's probably still the elites making these sort of things. Eh? Even here, there's the square and compass. Can you believe it? Don't you think that the people themselves did this? Eh? This is from the government. Eh? How brave they were. And this, it says, Carte de de concentration de l'expression et de centre d'euthanasie. These ones here, the round ones, which you can see here, they were uh, euthanasia centers like Brandenburg, Berlin, where they just, you know, whacked them all. I don't know what the difference is with the, between the euthanasia center and a extermination camp. It sounds all the same to me, eh? Not really the place you want to bring your holidays, eh? And here, the same map, maybe a bit um, clearer. Oh, by the way, talking about concentration camps, well, they're back, people, and um, because of the bug wars. And I told you, the Nazis have won the war. The Germans have lost it. Germans are going into the concentration camps, and the Nazis are keeping them there. There is a distinction between Nazis and Germans, people. And back then, you know, in the 30s, in Dachau, which was the first concentration camp, it was the same thing. They said, well, we do it for you. We want to protect you. It's for your own good. We protect you against those jaywalkers and against those uh, anti-social elements and communists. And in the end, they put everybody in there. Eh? Well, it's coming up, folks. Okay, back to the other, to the story and the other concentration camps. Maybe we can learn something of it for the future. Do we have a future at all? Otto, because c'était un nom allemand. Ah oh, oui. Donc, il s'appelle, il s'est appelé Marcel. So Et this, puis this... moi, quand je suis venu au monde, ils m'ont mis Marcel. J'ai le même nom que mon père. So this guy here, this is his father. He came back from the concentration camp. Okay, le prochain. <laughs> Pro le prochain. Autre, un autre, par d'un autre. Non, mais si, il y, y a la tata, il y a et les autres, le, ton, ton corbeau. Tu parles de cela aussi. Elle aussi, des, elle était dans un camp, donc. Oui, oui, ah, bah oui. So, she also was in a concentration camp, but she came back. She... Mais j'ai le nom, mais bon. So, all the others, they were all in concentration camps, and, and they came back. Tandis que là, ils étaient à Paris. J'étais coiffeur à Paris. Ça, ma tante était ici. Et toutes ces femmes, elles étaient aussi dans des camps Non, que celle-là. Celle ouais, ouais. Il y en a qui sont elles n'étaient pas prisonnières. Et, et, et montre ceux qui ont été dans les camps, comme le tonto au Là, dix garçons. Les dix garçons ont été dans les camps. Lesquels Lesquels Toutes. Ben, tu dis les noms, tu les montres et ils te filment. Tu dis les noms et tu dis ils, où c'est qu'ils étaient en camp ben ouais, Ils sont ben, revenus. Moi, je, je préférerais 
Il donnait le livre qu'il puisse relever pour avoir les noms des... Ouais, moi aussi. Des, des camps. Ouais, moi aussi. Oui, ben, tu l'auras, mais c'était pour y montrer que voilà. Mais cherchons-le, le livre. Donc, il y a... Y a, y a, y a... So this is on the cemetery of Russie, and here's Jacques May, Jacques May, Jacques May, Jacques May. They all died, the whole family. So this is why history is so important, people, because um, we know what they uh, can do, and thus we better know what they're up to, to recognize the enemy, because it's the same old thing over and over again, and it's it's coming up, people. So here it says where they the resistance fighters they would they got all le uh, rafle they got like uh, uh, arrested or attacked in March 27 1944 here says Joseph Jacquemet he died in the camp of Brandenburg Paul Jacquemet he was 34 Paul Jacquemet 27 the camp of Bergen Belsen René Jacquemet only 21 years old the camp of Neuengamme uh, this is what the, what he said about the, the boat that sank in the, in the Baltic. And um, Maurice Jacquemet, 20 years old, he died uh, of uh, fatigue, faiblesse, uh, in the camp of Butsov. I don't know where that is. So yeah, we are here, here at the cemetery, eh? This is the cemetery. Windy, cold. So I'm mostly talking about this family Jacques May because I met them. So here says Charles Jacques May, and I interviewed the old man. He escaped from the hospital in Montbéliard. Ida Jacques May, the girl, uh, she came back in '45 from the camp of Dresden. George and Marcel Jacques May. They came back from the camp of Brandenburg, which was a uh, euthanasia camp, what I just read here. And Robert and Henri Jacquemet, they came from the uh, the camp of Neuengamme. So there were 10 brothers and sisters and four never came back. Right? And at this, this is interesting, uh, the Montalembert, the, the castle, they also uh, in 1789, that's the, the date of the French Revolution, well, it was not a revolution, it was just a transition from the old world order, the vertical rule, to the new world order, horizontal republican rule. And they got guillotined at, in MASH. So one of the spies who betrayed them all is called Jacques Main. Not Jacques May, but Jacques Main. There's a difference. And the girl, Ida Jacques May, when she was liberated by the Russians and the Americans, she was uh, completely exhausted, a prisman complet, in 1945. I mean, worn out, burned out, whatever. And uh, the interesting thing is, they called the, in those days, they used the same terminology, terrorists. Right? They still do it today. It's still the same thing, people. Concentration camps, we're still in the Nazi era, terrorists. They call the uh, the ones who so who whom they about whom they said they did like the 9-11 all day, they call them terrorists. Well, well it's all a lie, of course, you know. Um same thing, it's the same thing. I mean, you wouldn't believe it, you know, talking so much about terrorists the last 20 years. But they they use the same terminology during the Second World War, you know, to uh, define a uh, resistance fighter. You know? Well, in a way, the, the Muslims are also resistance fighters, you know. Well, I mean, they shouldn't, like, attack innocent people, which I don't think they did. And uh, but they're also they uh, they're fighting for their for the in the um, in the Muslim countries for the you know for survival. I mean, dropping bomb bombs, you know, um, with uh, depleted uranium and killing them by the by the dozens, huh? by the by the millions. So this is the name of this family, Jacques May, and as you can see here. Joseph, he died in 1945, Paul, 1945, 
1945, they're all very young, Maurice, 1945, and Mort pour la France, they died for France, dans les camps nazi, in the Nazi concentration camp. Yeah. So, you know, and if you look, if you look at the situation like today, I mean, all these people, they all give their lives for nothing, eh? We're still in a Nazi, in a big Nazi politics and fascist governments coming back, do this, put on a mask, you know. The Nazis won the war. We're still in the Third Reich. So here it says one more time, the uh, Jacquemin family, they uh, had dies, that means 10 of their family members, they got deported, here it says deportation, and four never came back. That was Joseph, Paul, Maurice, and René. Fête unique en France, which is a, uh, a unique fact uh, in France. Uh, no other resistance family um, had a, had, a, had a loss, suffered a loss like this. Here were the verdicts by the Nazis, so condamné, the uh, condemned. Henri Jacques May, he was, um, the verdict was death, Robert Jacques May, death, Paul Jacques May, death. For uh, this one here, he was death, uh, a death sentence for helping the enemy, <laughs> the terrorist. Paul Jacques May, a death sentence for um, having weapons. René Jacques May, a death sentence for ha owning weapons. Uh, Maurice, five years. Oh, this one also, uh, Ida Marie, also five years. So we were here, Ida Marie, and here at the end, uh, Georges Jacques May, three years for helping the partisans and having weapons, and Joseph Jacques May, uh, that was the grandfather, I think, also three years, but three years in a concentration camp, right? And which is uh, in most, most likely going to end up um, as a death sentence. Actually, why do I do this video in English? Well, it's quite simple, because the French don't even care about it. They don't care about their heroes. They don't honor them. They, um, they hardly participated in defending their own country. Uh, I, I can see that when I'm hitchhiking or, you know, I've been sleeping outside here for six years. I hardly get invited. They don't care. So why should I do it in French then, eh? Sort it out yourselves. But I respect these people, and um, so I do it in English for the ones who do respect. So it's really it's a shame that there's more people respecting the French resistance outside of France than inside of France. 